हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर येवला टुडे विल स्टडी अ इंट्रोडक्शन टू मेकेट्रॉनिक्स सो वे आर स्टडिंग टुडे वॉट इज मेकेट्रॉनिक्स वॉट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू मेकेट्रॉनिक्स वॉट आर इट्स डेफिनेशन्स वॉट आर इट्स एप्लीकेशन्स वॉट इज यूज ऑफ मेकेट्रॉनिक्स सो दैट ऑल द थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस वीडियो so first of all the question is there what is mechatronics okay so the name only suggest mechan mechanical plus electronics okay so this is the word mechatronics derived from mechanical and electronics okay so mechatronics it is an integration of mechanical and electronic engineering okay so these are two main branches or main engineering disciplines which are integrated to form mechatronics this is the basic definition also it specifically refers to multidisciplinary approach to product and manufacturing system design so if you want to design one manufacturing system or you want to design one product then we need multidisciplinary approach means what we have to use another engineering disciplines also like computer engineering control engineering okay electrical engineering so like this we need multidisciplinary approach if you want to solve some problems or we want to design any system okay so there are many definitions of mechatronics okay as per requirement so again mechatronics basically refers to mechanical electrical systems and it's centered on mechanics electronics computing and control okay which combined make possible the generation of simple more economical reliable and versatile systems okay so what is mechatronics it is combination of mechanics electronics computing and control so these are all multidisciplinary approach okay which gets combined to make more economical reliable and versatile systems so this is the definition of mechatronics so now here mechatronics engineering so suppose you want to design one system or one product based on mechatronics engineering so you will have first of all specifications okay specifications of that particular product okay then you prepare architectural design then you go for architectural design after designing you have to use different disciplines like you have to use mechanics you have to use control engineering then you have to go for software and some electronics parts and integration of all the four branches or all the disciplines then you will you can manufacture the desired product okay so like this mechatronics engineering works so you need all types of disciplines mechanics control software electronics okay so such a devices are required to make particular product now again you can see in this figure mechatronics how mechatronics is prepared or how this can be prepared okay so here you can see there is mechanical systems is there mechanical systems are required for preparing mechatronic system then you need electronic systems okay then you need control systems and as well as computer system okay so like this four important disciplines you require so with the help of mechanical and computer if you combine mechanical and computer you can go for mechanical cad okay so cad softwares are there which you can use okay if you combine electronic and control then there is control electronics is there devices are used control electronic devices if you combine mechanical and electronic then there is electromechanics devices are there okay and if you combine computer and control then there is digital control systems are there which controls the mechatronic system okay now after combination of all the four devices you will get some devices like sensors and actuators you can get here sensors and actuators then here you can go for system analysis with the help of computer system simulation you can do with the help of computer and micro computers and dsps 
so like this you will get devices which combinedly makes one mechatronic system okay so this is the explanation of this figure so for mechatronics product you require all the four system mechanical electronic computer and control systems okay so all the, these systems have some devices which are useful while making one mechatronic system okay now we'll see what are the common examples of mechatronic devices suppose you are making one mechatronics device so what are examples or applications of mechatronic devices so if you go for domestic devices so there are microwaves are there okay microwaves where you cook some product by giving some time period okay so this is mechatronic device again bread makers toast you make with the help of breads so that is bread makers again automatic washing machines are there dish washers are used in domestic applications vcr cd players so all these are mechatronic systems okay they work according to the program or according to the time input okay then second one is industrial applications so cnc machine tools cnc machine tool work as per program okay then active magnetic bearings these bearings work as per active program then active noise suppression system noise gate suppressed with the help of these systems then mobile robots are there robots moves from one point to another point so these are all industrial applications as well as third application is automotive application so it consists of anti lock braking systems abs that we call then fuel ignition emission control devices climate control devices cruise control devices so all these are advanced automotive automotive systems which are all mechatronics devices okay and what is written in last line adding a microprocessor to a device can increase its functionality but also introduces a new failure mode okay so if you add microprocessor device it increases its functionality but it may introduce a new failure mode if microprocessor gets failed everything will get failed control okay so control will get failed so microprocessor it's also very important device in mechatronic devices so these are some applications of mechatronic devices now this is lunar rover vehicle okay so this vehicle was sent on moon and it was prepared by mechatronic devices some sensors actuators were incorporated some microprocessor was there okay and all the devices were mechatronic devices okay this is one of the application of international level now this is another application that is mars rover sojourner so it was sent on summer 1997 its weight was 11.5 kg its dimension is given so they used photovoltaics plus battery okay so photovoltaic cell uses photo means uh, they uses sun rays for charging the batteries okay and according to that they send signal as on off control signal okay so optical wheel encoders plus bump detector switches so in this rover optical wheels were used encoders for ro me measuring rotation of wheels as well as they used bump detector switches also so many sensors actuators were used in this rover now this is mars polar lander failure so this was lander which was sent on mars but it got failed okay so it was launched in january 1999 crashed december 1999 so what was the problem legs deployed prior to touchdown okay so what the legs were not properly deployed okay rocket motor on lander shut down prematurely due to spurious signals from action of leg de deployment so leg deployment was not proper because of some signals okay so leg position indirect measure of landing so there was around 120 million dollars failure due to software bug or software noise so it was software failure okay signal was not proper and there was legs deployment was not proper okay 
this was the problem now these are also important applications like formula 1 cars so these cars consist of active suspension systems anti lock braking system traction control system so these are all mechatronic systems used in formula 1 cars okay as well as queens formula sce so this is sce cars so around 3000 dollar for engine they spent as well as around 3000 dollar for engine with micro computer so like this the devices used again this is also one of the application that is mars pathfinder base pedal so this was this was one device which was used as a pathfinder which was finding path for its movement okay so it was also incorporated with different types of sensors actuators and signal controlling devices now this is autonomous vehicle so word autonomous means what the vehicle works at its own okay so sensors actuators are incorporated control devices are there in this vehicle some program is given and according to this autonomous vehicle works now these are some advanced cnc control systems are shown some machines are shown okay cro is shown in the diagram so these are all machine tools which is used in manufacturing industry for manufacturing product with some automation okay so now modern trends of development so nowadays some modern trends are there in mechatronics development so first is written here machine tool construction and equipment for automation of technological processes robotics so as you know that cnc machine tools are developing very largely with automation as well as robotics also advanced automation okay so these are some modern trends okay next office equipments computer facilities photo and video equipment so in your offices there are many computer facilities are there photo and video equipments are there or some what we can say fax machine xerox machine these are all modern trends of development again we'll see some micro machines are used in industry control and measuring devices and machines used in industry simulators for training of pilots and operators show industry non conventional vehicles so these are all modern trends of development where we can use mechatronics for developing automation okay so these are all automation related trends now in aviation industry that is space industry aeroplanes rockets where we can use mechatronics as a modern trend okay there are some devices like flight control devices aviation control devices okay so these are all types of applications where we can use mechatronics levels of mechatronic system integration now we'll see levels of mechatronic system integration so this is first level okay where some conveyors rotary tables auxiliary manipulators are controlled with the help of mechatronic systems so this is first level where we are using only simple sensors and actuators now in the second level what happens in second level so these are turbines and generators are operated power machines so here you see in the diagram machine tools are shown and some robots are shown with numerical program management so here comes role of software software and controller which controls with the help of program all the functions are controlled with the help of programs okay this is second level and in the third level third level what happens synthesis of new precise information and measuring high technologies gives a basis for designing and producing intellectual mechatronic modules and systems so these are intellectual modern systems so which are able to take their decisions own okay like autonomous vehicles where the vehicle works without any driver so this uses new precise information and measuring high technologies 
gives intellectual systems so, so these are all intellectual systems okay so this is the third level of mechatronic system or we can say this is the modern era of mechatronic systems okay so like this we studied introduction to mechatronic system and where we can apply this mechatronic system so i hope you have understood this introduction of mechatronic system okay so thank you so much all of you for watching this video thank you so much